everyone, this is According to Brie again, and today we're going to be looking at this Make It Real Jewelry Collection Rainbow Bling Bracelets Kit. Now as you can see, this kit will allow us to make these 5 beautiful bracelets. And on the back is everything we need from beads to wax cords and heart charms. Now let's see what's inside. Alright, so here's the box. Now I'm going to open it up. So we've got everything right here. This is the instruction manual for all the bracelets. This is the Dream Guide magazine, which talks about women in creative jobs. And here's all of the bracelet making supplies. So we've got the light pink cord, the dark pink cord, the green cord, the blue cord, and the purple cord. Then we've got three different packs of beads, presumably so that it'll be easier for us to know which beads go for which bracelet. And here's the instruction manual, and... Hmm... I think I'm going to start with the light pink bracelet. When you start a bracelet, you have to measure the cord you need. For this case, we'll need three lengths of 50 inch cord. Luckily, there's a nifty little ruler at the bottom of the instruction sheet that will help us. Once I've already measured the lengths, I will then cut the string into the three 50 inch pieces that I will need for the bracelet. Now I'm going to open this sachet of beads because I'm going to need some of them for the center of the bracelet. The center of the bracelet has five beads, two white beads, two silver ring-shaped beads with blue gems, and one silver gem-shaped bead. Then I will string the beads in this order. White bead, silver ring-shaped bead, large silver bead, silver ring-shaped bead, then white bead. Here I'm centering the beads so that all the other parts of the bracelet can easily fall into place when I put them in. As you've probably noticed, I cut out three strings of the same color. Now I'm going to knot the second string to the first string next to the beads. Now I have to be careful when I make the knot because I want both ends of the knot to be approximately the same length as I will be braiding them later. Now I'm going to open up more beads because we've gotten to the point where I need to braid the beads into the strings. For me, Braiding beads into string is like regular braiding, except that before you lay each string over each other, you put a bead and then position it where you want so that it looks good on the finished product. For this bracelet, I will be braiding in 12 silver beads per side, so that means I'm going to be using 24 silver beads in total.
After braiding the first side, I am going to insert a large silver bead into the braid so that when both sides are done, I can insert both ends into the bead to secure the bracelet. Now, as you probably know, there are three 15-inch strings. Well, the last one will be knotted to the first string like I did to the second string but on the other side. Once I've knotted those two strings together, I'm going to braid them along with the remaining 12 beads in the same manner as the first side. When both sides are done, I'll be using that large silver bead to secure them together. That large bead will also help me adjust the bracelet while I'm wearing it so that it fits my wrist. Now, after the other side has been braided, I can take the ends of the other side and put it through the same bead. And that is going to be it for this video. I was only able to make one bracelet, but I can safely say that this kit teaches new techniques that will be very useful and very beautiful when you make bracelets like these. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and wear a mask. Bye!